welcome back again, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. It's been quite a while since we've done a video on wheel coatings. We're going to coat a set of wheels. Uh, Brian here picked up a set of wheels for his ride, and we're going to coat them. And since our BC coating is still in development and testing, we're going to use uh, what I b would believe is the second best wheel coating, the Gion Q2M rim coating. And I have... 12 plus, well beyond 12 excellent tips for you and some advice when it comes to wheel coatings. This coating happens to be a kit and it comes with four micro suede applicators, a block, the coating itself, and some instructions. This is the set of wheels that Brian has picked up, so let's get started. First, if you can, elevate the vehicle. Even if you're doing uh, a wheels off or not, at least you can spin the wheels so you can get to all the surfaces that are easily reached. So that's going to be tip number one. There are two things you need to keep in mind when doing a wheels off. And the first, if you're doing this for yourself, safety. Safety using the lift or jacks or whatever you're using to elevate the car. Second thing, liability if you're doing this for somebody else as a customer or a friend. This will lead into the second tip, and that's going to be grab yourself a good wheel stand. When you have the wheels off, the wheel stand will allow you to spin the wheel and keep it stationary at the same time, so it's a hands-free experience. Next, tip number three, prep. Proper prep. The prep you put into the protectant, or really anything when it comes to the detailing industry, is what you're going to get out of it. If you put poor prep into it, don't expect the coating to last. So clean the wheel thoroughly. Take your time during the process. Whether you're using an acidic wheel cleaner, highly alkaline wheel cleaner, or pH neutral, do your best to get every square inch. I like the Adams wheel and tire, and then I'll pour an ounce or two of the Fireball Iron Burn into it so you get ferrous metal removing uh, properties to the cleaner as well when needed. Tip number four, rinse the cleaner thoroughly and then follow up with a panel prep or make your own isopropyl alcohol solution to remove any residues from those cleaners. They can become a deterrent when it comes to coating the wheel. If there's a residue left behind that gets between the coating and the surface of the wheel itself. So take the time to properly rinse, use a prep, and then dry properly and completely. Once thoroughly clean, you can inspect the wheel and determine if the wheel needs to be polished in any way. Tip number five, if you do need to polish the wheels, the best polisher I found for that job is the extension mini polisher for the rotary. And I've done many videos on that tool. And it comes with cone-shaped polish uh, pads you get different sized little half inch to one inch backing plates so you can really get into uh, tight spaces all the way down to quarter inch. An excellent tool to look into. And while Brian finishes up with the prep here, we can go over a few side notes I want to add. The braking systems, calipers and wheels and wheel area, temperatures can spike up to between 300 and 600 degrees Fahrenheit on passenger cars and normal daily drivers. On industrial vehicles, heavy vehicles, and vehicles that are on the track, they can get up to and exceed 932 degrees Fahrenheit. So wheel coatings do not hold up for long periods of time like coatings on paint. So you won't find a five-year, 10-year wheel coating, a true one anyway, that's not with BS marketing. Normally, you're looking at about up to a year. So that's why the attention to the prep process is huge. Tip number six, ditch the hard applicator block and use one of these squishy foam blocks or just wrap the micro suede applicator around your finger. And you can easily get in and around the intricate wheel designs and spokes. Prime the applicator pad, so soak it good. Uh, you do not want to lay a dry applicator pad on a freshly polished wheel or a brand new wheel. Uh, make sure there's no residue from the cap or the uh, dropper insert. And then 
the next time you load it up, just one line down the middle of the pad and you're good to go. And that will lead us into the seventh tip. Number seven, two coats, minimum of the wheel coating. Wheels are, they come in different shapes and sizes and materials from chrome to powder coat to OEM. And some of those materials can be very absorbent. As you can see here, this applicator conforms to the shape of the wheel, so it works perfectly. This wheel happens to have a carbon flash finish to it, but some come chrome, polished aluminum, uh, coated, clear coated, powder coated, and minimum of two layers of the coating with two hours in between layers. And if you have a 30 milliliter vial and you still have a lot left, put some more layers on there. That will only help to uh, extend the protection you have on those wheels. Tip number eight, wiping off a coating of any kind from anywhere, use a short nap towel that cuts down on fibers getting stuck in the coating. By the way, you get enough of the coating in the bottle, so coat your calvers and any finished surface in that area in the wheel well. Apply the coating to the face of the wheel and then immediately start to wipe off. Flip the wheel over and then do the barrel of the wheel and the back of the spokes. Tip number nine, proper cure time. Whatever that coating is, the instructions will tell you how long to let it sit without hitting free flowing water, driving the vehicle. Just keep it nice and clean and dry until it's fully cured. I would definitely use a topper. So BC3 is the perfect topper for wheel coatings. It will let the coating cure and breathe as it guards it from whatever mother nature and the roadways can throw up at that wheel as it cures fully for the next few days. Infrared lamps, for those that have them, can help bake on a coating. I barely use them, but when it comes to wheels, it's a good idea because everything you can do for that coating on the wheels will help them last just a little bit longer. Tip number 10, when enjoying your freshly cured and coated wheels, and it's time to clean them, clean them with the same shampoo you use on painted surfaces. It will be pH neutral, and it will be more than likely made for a coating. No need for harsh chemicals and iron removers when you've had your wheels coated. Rinse and dry them thoroughly. Uh, and use a touchless method as often as possible because brake dust is one of the most abrasive things that can come in contact with the surface of your wheel. After your wheels are freshly washed and still wet, use Gion Wet Coat for tip number 11 as a spray and rinse protectant. Easy. Tip number 12, always have a separate wheel bucket with your wheel cleaning tools, brushes, wheel woolies, etc. Again, because brake dust is one of the most abrasive things to come in contact with your car, you want to keep that separate from your media that washes painted surfaces. A nice tire coating or dressing complements the wheel coating. Dark side from CarPro is the choice of the day. For the final tip, step back, take a deep breath, enjoy all of that work, and maybe jump in your vehicle, take it out for a drive, and show it off to friends. This has been Brian from Apex Detail, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.